What's going on guys, Lumberjack back here again, and we are playing South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now this is part of the pre-order bundle for the Fractured Butthole. I have played this game on the PS3, so I want to see how this transfers over to the PS4. I hope it's still the same as I remember it. So let's get into this. Deep in the lands of Zara. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the drow elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man, and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. South Park. Stick of Truth. This is one of my favorite games that we that I ever played before. All right, here's the uh, creator thing. You can create your own little character here. Uh, let's see what they all have. Like they didn't really. Doesn't look like they changed anything up. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with my usual hairstyle here, the little mohawk. And then you can change the little colors here. I'm going to do darkish brown, because that's my natural hair color. All right, and we're going to go over to outfits. Let's go look through these, see what we have, see what we don't have. Uh, not really a big fan of a lot of this, so we're just going to go with maybe this one. See if we can change the colors up a little bit. Well, if we can change the colors of this one, I might as well just go with this one, because I like... Uh, let's see. Hmm. I like that, but it's a little too plain, I guess. I can do the secondary colors, change all the trousers. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's go back. Uh, let's just do this one, because this one's already kind of how I dress. Minus the uh, long sleeves underneath. Let's go a little bit of a lighter dark blue color for the jeans. And for the face, you can see the little teardrop down there that you can use. Uh, that is available for you to buy later in the game. But if you get it straight off the bat, you don't have to buy it. Or you don't have to look for it. You'll end up wearing it throughout the game. So... You can also change up how your character looks throughout the game as well. Let's give him a little bit of a pair of glasses just to spruce things up. Right, uh, not really sure which glasses I want to wear. Uh, I guess these work. Change the color and complete. So here's a little loading screen, blah, blah, blah. blah. All right, here we go into the game. Uh, you see the outskirts of South Park itself. Such a wonderful little mountain town. Alright, so here you see some movers moving stuff in. I am the new kid that they well, talked about I think before. That's everything. We did it, uh, parents We're talking. really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hon, you all dressed? Go in the door. Hey, champ. Now, the thing is, how do you like your new with room? With the characters and everything, like if you pick like, I know a it's different a big skin color for, us, for your kid, son, do you the parents will also be that same skin color. So if you say you want to be like an African American or a Mexican or an Asian kid. 
He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's Your good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Automatically switch uh, to that sweetie? race, which we I think is really cool for the game to do. Because there's like some games where some you're. Right, character. get outside you can and pick play. The color of your like, character and everything. Like normal kids. But we've like, got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. With that one are Just like a different color. Be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. All right, so this is my room. You get a new quest, new kid in town. You gotta go outside. Uh, let's see what's in the closet. Uh, there's some stuff. Yep, you can take the cash and then. Baseball cards, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you walk around. Can't really do anything. Alright, here's a little trunk that you can hide your stuff in. I did not realize you could do this for a while when I first started playing the game. Like, you just have, like, a little trunk. So if you don't want to sell anything, but you have too much crap to carry, you can just stuff it into there. So let's walk around the room, see what we can do. Can't really do anything. All right, let's exit here. All right, so you can walk around. Uh, there's stuff. You can't really go into your parents' room yet. Uh, in the bathroom here, uh, you see everything with like the gold color door handles, whatever. Anything that's goldish color, you can open up and you can get stuff out of or put stuff in. But then there's a the little shower thing you can go into, but this is one of my favorite things. You hop up on the toilet and then you take a shit. And then the shit flops out. And then you're able to take the shit and bring it with you. Alright, so I'm not going to go in the shower. I'll open up the door. Alright, then we're going to go. I'm going to slowly walk over here. Come on, son. Get out there. Make friends. Alright, can't really go downstairs, so we're just gonna go into the kitchen, say hi to mom. Hi mom. Uh, open up some stuff. Get some stuff out of it. Uh, take the money off the table. Which, alright, I found some money before, so... The best thing to do is look for money. And look for, uh, dig through stuff. Like I said, the... Gold. Things like that. You can open it up, you can get stuff out of it, and then you can sell that to make money. Okay, so this is your area here. You can't really do anything. See? Punching the snow does nothing. Uh, can't go that way yet, because it's the beginning of the game. Uh, punch the logs, can't really do anything. Yeah. You can't really attack or anything until you get a weapon, which I find is weird because you can't use your fists. But you can climb up, like if they have ladders or whatever, you can climb up and see how there's a trunk up here. It has stuff in it, so you can go back down from the ladder and it you runs through. Uh -uh. Uh, no, it doesn't really work. Uh, I wonder, you can't like, you watch longer. Butters get his ass kicked. I, I wonder if you longer. wait Help! long enough if he would actually die. Ow, ow, ouch. So I want to see Sorry. if he'll let you do anything else before you can help him. Yeah, I no. Okay, hey, so no you fair. just walk That's up and cheating. hit the I'm gonna tell my mom. elf, I guess. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. Butters' motion. friend. But my name is Butters the, the game. Merciful. I'm a paladin. I well, he's the first character you, you encounter in the game that's not related to you, and he becomes your friend automatically. Um, let's see. Just waiting around. Get your friends, blah, 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 blah. Just made a new friend. Alright, there's that. There's like all this stuff that you can add to your character. As you can see, you get like that. But if you add something to it, it also takes something away. Like if you have... Like if you get hair, if you want to put on different hair, it'll take the hair off you have currently. If you want to have stuff for your face, it takes off whatever you have on your face. Which is kind of... Weird, but I guess that's how the game goes. Alright, so Butters King. is your He's friend now. The 
should live this way, in the greenhouse, over there. He wants you to follow him, I guess. Hey, where are you from? Uh, you can press the circle button to Could run. Before moving here? So we can move just a little bit faster. Uh, here we are at Koopa Keep, I guess, which is Cartman's house. Oh, hail the Grand Wizard! So you are the new kid. Your coming was for He's apparently the Cold Grand Wizard. I am the Wizard so, like, King. This game is so but the time like, for talk really is weird. Not Let me show you my kingdom. About how it wants to be. All right, so oh, now we're inside Cartman's friend, house. Eric? Like, shut up, mom. Not now. It follows. It doesn't really follow the episode. Of South Park that well. But Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. We'll see. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Like you see here that like <laughs> apparently I just like hitting Leanne Cartman. Like a lot. But you have like Welcome it's all to the one kingdom big of Koopa Keep story. But also one big story-based episode. Like if you remember, they had Our the weapon shop here is tended Game by of Thrones, a level 14 warrior. Episodes. Here you can see our like massive stables, seasons ago. overseen by the level nine ranger this is Scott Malkinson, pretty much their spoof who has the power on of RPGs diabetes. and, and here, Game of, of Thrones. Is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kenny. Which I think is the really cool. I'm not a big fan of RPGs myself. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick. It's just how he seems to be rolling right now. I love South Park. Like it is in my top five favorite TV shows of all time, just because they know how to keep everything relevant. All right, so I'm standing here in Koopa Keep, uh, Cartman's backyard. You may have heard of my deeds in the Battle of Stark's Pond. From That's the line the Grand Wizard Clyde gave me. Clyde Donovan. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told then, me to stick to the script. Uh, oh! Just hit him up a little bit. All right, I like this the rock because they'll talk to you if you touch powers. things. Okay, you're insane now. So then you, you become want to be healed, you must insane, the rock I guess. But all you have to do is touch the rock again, and you're no longer insane. Uh, pick a flower. That's for a later mission, as you can see, a new quest. Uh, I'm gonna save that flower until my I need to use it. As my diabetes. Uh, you become friends with Scott Malkinson. He has diabetes. Behold, I think it's really funny that they have Scott Malkinson in the game. He's, and he's building like a bit character for one episode, and then it's kind of like, oh well, that's it for him. I know it is a massive kingdom, uh, but you'll learn around. to find your way Sometimes around. Sometimes they hide things back the here. Stump. Uh, it's Perhaps the wizard one day stump. I'll show you what it does. Some say he who I discovers the secret so. of the wizard stump All right, is the master of the world. Let's see what they got to talk about here. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. No, it's funny. Is uh, this is the part where you put in your name? So they're kind of just standing there because apparently you can't see what I'm doing. You entered douchebag. Is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? But the funny thing is, Very well, every single bag. time you put a different you name in, a class. Fighter, like if you put mage, your name in, thief, say it you. is Michael, a mage is like a wizard they'll call you Douchebag cool. regardless. A fighter has courage, honor, then you get to pick a class. Uh, there's a warrior, a there's a mage. I played the thief in my first Jew, playthrough, huh? and then so I played I the we'll Jew really in my second. Uh, the Jew is... A thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Okay, the thief is okay. A mage is like a wizard, um, I might not as cool. With age. A white fighter? Haven't seen on a good one, of those one in a while. I'm not really sure. Like I do like mages in RPG games, even though I'm not really a, mage a big is fan like of them. A wizard, only not as cool. So that's what we're going to go with today. We welcome to our kingdom, douchebag the mage. Hooray! Now please go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon, and we shall. And if you pick the fat. Jew class, like Cartman gets really mad at you. He's like, well, I guess we'll never really be friends. Would you like friends. to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars. And then if you do like the tips and whatevers, Clyde will end up just taking your money. Like if you have any money on you for two dollars, he'll take the two dollars and tell you you shouldn't like that talk to people or believe in whatever they're uh, trying to tell you. All right, ah, so here you're just buying purchase. a weapon. Uh, you can't really do much at the beginning of the game. Which don't sucks. let it bother you that there's a game to be played. But uh. 
uh, after this, you can go back to talking to Cartman, but let's see what, uh, they give you, like, yeah, you equip that, as I ah, said you before, have procured so. a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you yeah, how to fight. I want you to take you your about new weapon, things. and with the bravery and of a noble you end knight, up having to fight beat up Clyde. Clyde. Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? Funny. I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. He's all like, oh, why? <laughs> so, alright, so here's the I gotta kick your ass. training part of the Clyde, game. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. I was never That's really lame. good. At this no, Clyde, part it's like older time. You have games. to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, this Clyde. Why I, I know it's late, Clyde, but that's RPGs. how we're fucking doing it. Alright, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shat. It is completely Die. annoying to play the uh, RPGs by like blocking and attacking. Ah. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. Alright, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. But Carpenter gives you uh, ex. Not experience, but it gives you pointers oh, on shit, how to dude, fight. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood! Fucking nice, bro. That's exactly you know what, what you do to doing. guys with armor like that. Okay, you know listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Now, excuse the audio Critical on this. Effect. I kind of, I tried to record while I was Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, dude, you're already way playing. better than Clyde. But apparently the PlayStation didn't pick that up, so my All whole right. entire recording was just heroic powers. gameplay Using your without ability, my audio, take power points, or PP for short. <laughs> which is really annoying and sucky. If you have a fucking better so name for them than fucking say, Clyde, fucking asshole. Recording over I'm the king, and I say it, PP. So I'm going to try to edit the audio down, like the speaking audio from me, down enough to where it's tolerable throughout ah. the rest of the game. And I'm trying oh. not to talk. I like. I'm not gonna try to talk dude, over that was the lame. Try it again, dude. Cut scenes as often, but I might accidentally do that. Uh, I do apologize for you, or to you guys. I got that. that. Way to wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. <laughs> But like, I always end up having to uh, redo parts of the game that I Dead. threw up. Ah. Like the blocking, I sometimes have down, but the blocking, I sometimes don't. <laughs> like with the arrows. Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, and the cloud was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> Okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. Yeah, like with the arrows and stuff, I really have a hard time blocking those because they're like. Psh, psh, psh. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The <laughs> stick of truth. Just, Just two days stick. ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it's rags. Like, they didn't even try the to stick, hide that it was just a plain Don't gaze at it like too a, long! For its power is too much for mere mortals Weird if it was just, like, some sort of now that you have seen magical, like, Harry Potter sort of reviews. thing. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five. Like a fake week. discount wizard one? Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! <laughs> oh my god! Defensive positions! And yeah, Butter's running in there, like, Alarm! 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 It's like, ah, there's the alarm! Like, really? Like, Butters is apparently the alarm. Oh, chicken bones. Hooray! Uh, chicken bones again. Alright, there's the map, blah, 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 blah. Just like a really cheap-ass map of the town of South Park that they just made. Help us, new kid! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Yeah, Come for some reason, it. the... Right. Guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Uh, aye, aye. Subtitles kick aye, off. Aye. We're not playing pirates, part, Clyde! But I don't know this is your why chance to prove yourself. Do, Hold off the asshole do. elves at all costs! Oh. Oh. I want some of this! Ah. Ugh. Ugh. So here's like our... Do it, my first kick official these fight. Asses. It's against two of the elves that are attacking uh, Yeah, you're wounded, as you can see, I'm not really good at here. blocking. So we got have to have me use a healing potion, which is cheesy poop. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was compromised. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. 
Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. Asshole! I said block, not get nailed by. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't clear. My Try again. skills are not that good. This is why I should not be a basketball player. Ah! Oh. Okay, if you block all the attack, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. And then when they're Kick down, the out of him. you can hit him again. I mean, it gives you, like, oh, you extra damage. Ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of Which the Wizard nice. King. You want some of this? Alright, and then you can, like, what I just did there is just... You have all these shit nuggets. You can take the shit nuggets and throw them at the enemy, and they'll become disgusted. So it gives them extra damage, like every single turn that they go. Great job, douchebag! Woohoo! I won my first battle! Hey! Ah. Help! Kick their right, asses, dude! So I got After help. you defeat an enemy, you are able to loot their bodies. You got this, douchebag! So like if they Die have asshole. items on them that you would like, they have like cheesy poofs or Kiss this or that. Ass. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass! All right, so the beginning of this, he just goats you into attacking him, even though <laughs> oh, that you know you totally can't. Me, you can't just hit him like that. You need to try a so different tactic to damage him. To get Look around that, that somehow. Behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. And then this is where they give you Sweet, like bows and arrows and stuff. You Go have ranged weapons, and then you have uh, yeah, bitch. That's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. Hand to hand weapons. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. So when you're fighting like this, you always want to use the range of weapons to the guy oh. back as much as you can. Great job, douchebag. And then use your melee weapons for your up close and personal attacks. Right. Then here I go, saving Butter's ass again. Let's do this, douchebag. Alright, and here we got these two guys. Uh, he's got a shield. Okay, that guy has a what shield. What you want to do is that they have shields, shields you want to lightly them attack them. Over and over to wear them but down I always end up forgetting because I always do like power attacks no matter what. So I end up just power, power attacking attack the armor. Shield. That's bushy. Just stupid. use your normal attack so you can hit him again. Is that all you got? Uh, Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Alright, so he's knocked down. So you want to attack. Win it. That's it. Now finish Anybody him. that's not down. Now. You want to be able to attack and get as much damage as humanly possible Sweet, now before you can see they the can get revived. Go for the pink mist. Oh. Now. See, it's more like a rinse and repeat method. Oh. Like how RPGs have the turn now. style uh, fighting, where one person goes, and the other person goes, and then another person goes, and so on and so on until it's your spot. Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elf! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! <laughs> to guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do banished that. From space yeah, I can. And time. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, then you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I've I got want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest idea. warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Fighters, go with him!
All right, so I get up level two. Uh, yes, we can go over to Scout Magazine, who's now new taking over Clyde's spot. You name it, we'll and then you can buy some weapons based on what you are. Uh, or you can just buy weapons in general. Um, I went with... Yeah, you got all these like really cool weapons, but I wanted to stick with my class, so I just bought a lightning wand for mine. Uh, you can now, after you get past level two, you can start buying more equipment and stuff. As you can see, you got like KKK gloves and KKK helmets, which is, it's not the Ku Klux Klan, it is the Kingdom of Koopa Keep, wherein Carmen is Grand Wizard of the KKK, which is one of the funnier, funnier things about this game is they're not PC about a lot of things. Like South Park has not really ever been PC about a lot of things. A nice purchase. That's why it's great to have a game like this. Good choice. Where you don't have to worry about as much censorship. All yours. Like, they censored the game overseas. Like, in the UK and places like that. But in the United States version of the game, they don't really have any censorship rules for, like, a lot of different games. But they did have stuff that they had to kick or uh, keep out of the game, I read. And then, uh, see, you can add, like, the goatee, or whatever, like I did, that I found in Cartman's house. You can add, like, facial hair, and different stuff to your character. Alright, the little thing there is Timmy's fast travel. Alright, so then you gotta go into Cartman's house. And, uh, yeah, you can attack his mom. Yeah, fuck his shit up. Or you can. That's not really that nice. Oh! Uh, break stuff, which I'm a fan of the breaking the stuff. So we're dealies. Alright, let's go upstairs to Cartman's room, see what he's all got going uh, on. This is the king's room. I don't think uh, we're supposed to be in here. See if you can't here. break some of exactly stuff, because, you, you know, Cartman's an asshole, so why can't you be? Uh, you break his truck, you go in there, uh, and take all his shit. I tried to shoot Miss Polly Prissy Pants, but it apparently did not work out well. He has a lot of fried chicken floating around. Apparently. So just run around. Not really too much. There's his closet there. You see a bunch of his costumes and stuff from his older episodes. Like you see Osimo there. You can see his Faith Plus One record. You see his uh, Cowboy One up there. You see the Water Weasel. His Beefcake shirt. His uh, Coon and Coon and Friends outfit. As well as his making fun of the Japanese uh, thing where he says you're not supposed to get shot or you're not supposed to shoot a guy in the balls. Butters accidentally shoots people right, in the balls a lot. A lot of cool stuff. All right, so uh, we're just gonna oh, break look, some I'm stuff sure out here. I'm sure you didn't mean to do that. Uh, Should we shit on his couch? Hallway here. Yeah, fuck his shit up. Butters says hopefully Cartman gets in trouble for that, which I would think is hilarious if he does. All right, pick up some of that crap. All right, here's his mom's room. Uh, let's see what's in here. You got underwear, you got money, and you got sex toys. That is a lot of This stuff. is where the magic happens. Last week, Cartman's mom was here with right, a few men having a whole lot here. of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. <laughs> this hand magic and butt magic. <laughs> no, she got a jar of lube, a crack pipe, and a bong sitting over here next to a vibrator. All right, and they're killer plants. All right, and break the lamp. Because you get crap out of that. Break the cuckoo clock. Get stuff out of that. You can break the jar of lube. I wanted to see if I could break Jesus, but you can't really break Jesus. Can I break... You can break the lube, too. And you like spill all over the place. And then you can break the bong. Like, I wanted to see if I could break anything else, but you really can't. 
There's only like specific things you can break. All right, so we're going through here. Uh, I got an upgrade for my stuff. I want to upgrade my dragon's breath, which will give me a little bit more damage, I do believe. So that'll be fun. Eventually, if you get more friends and stuff, you'll be able to do like these perks. Which the perks are really fun and really cool after you get a lot of them. It beefs up your attacks and your uh, special abilities. That's not really that nice. Just love going to Cartman's house and breaking all of his stuff. Oh, whoops. I'm sure that was an accident. Alright, so now we're outside of Cartman's house. We uh, aren't allowed to go into the street. Alright. Let's look at this real quick. Alright, we got Scout Malkinson. It's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, different messages. Got to some applied butters to Cartman. Uh, you get to break things. Yes. Alright, now that I got that key for their thing, we'll go in here. Can't really do much. Break down that. Those are holy oh, oh, go on. Legend has it I got Pengen. We'll like, in all fairness, Pengen was one of my favorite. Uh, Chim Pokemon from the show. Like, everybody was like, oh, I love Shoe. Like, no, it's Penguin, because he's like a penguin. All right, so I think I'm just going to add this little beard here. It kind of matches mine. Give it like a brown. No, give it like a darker brown. Yeah, that about matches my hair. So we're just going to go with that one there. I can't really add anything else. I don't think. All right, there's wigs. Miscellaneous crap. Yeah, I didn't really pick anything up. So, hit the trash can. Alright, so we're just gonna run around. Alright, can't really do anything with the rats. Wish you could. But you can't do anything with the rats until, like, later on in the game. Alright, can't go in here. Wait, nope. Alright, I was trying to figure out whose house this The Wizard was. King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans. But Paladin Butters lets me be his squire on the sly. Paladin seek justice for all races. Butters house, I think. All right. Uh, you want to get this one over here. You got Choo Choo Nesby. Gotta break that down. All right. Now to go back to Butters house. Go in. Yep. Behold, the wizard of Butters. See, the creators the of the game. Butters really is a very sweet Made it look boy. Just like I hope you treat him as you would a normal Park. child. So like, you have oh, everybody's house how it's We're set up that. on the show. Good, you Facebook me right away if Butters does something he In should be grounded for. The uh, game it's set up the same way. All right, so we go through here, dig through his cabinets, break some stuff. Break some more stuff. Hopefully he gets in trouble too. Uh, let's see. Okay, break that. And then we break that. Alright, so now we can go this way and up his stairs. Welcome to my room. Yep, this is Butter's room. Break his little ball. Go in here. Can't really kill those dribbles. You can get his little butt, his little uh, balls, his little chin balls. And then you see uh, Niblet there on his little shelf, the pink and purple thing. I like another one. But uh, if you remember, Niblet was from the. <laughs> Heh, boobs. The episode with corn in it. Remember, uh, they had corn come to town. It was like pirate ghosts. It was kind of like one big Scooby Doo fucking thing. Oh, didn't mean to go out here. So we're just gonna go over here. All right, here's his closet. We got his uh, DSD Montequila thing over there. He got his Professor Chaos. He got his uh, special drink that he had. 
with like all these different outfits. You saw his framed picture of when he went to Imagination Land. Break the potted plant. Can't really break the books. All right, we're gonna go into his parents' room. His parents' room doesn't really have a lot of stuff in it, but then you get his garage key in it. And then you get his uh, Okomo Gums Field. Which, that was also one of my favorite episodes where they have Towelie in there for the first time. And don't forget to bring a towel! Alright, now that we got the key, we can go into here, break some stuff, get to all these lovely treasures. Got some gloves there. Can't really do anything here. Alright, hit that. And we are on our way. And of course, after I beat stuff up, didn't I broke that? Like, I don't know why it didn't stay broken. Alright, hit that. Alright, now we can break the snow pile from earlier. Go back here. Grab some stuff. Doesn't really, you know, do anything. Yeah, and then you can break stuff down once you get your weapons. Alright, so here's this. You got the sounds of the horses and shit, and then when he shows up, it's just Timmy in his wheelchair with a horse in front of it. Uh, the fast travels you can't really do a lot with unless you unlock a whole bunch of them. So, like, the only place you can go is either Cartman's backyard right now at the beginning of the game, or here. Which I don't mind running, but maybe throughout the rest of the game I might end up doing the... Fast travels more often. Ah, shit. What else? Alright, so here we are. We're gonna fight many these dangers, elves here. Um, yeah, you moved to the wrong a lot of talking. Nice hair, douchebag. <laughs> and I completely missed that attack. We got butters. Butters can heal you. Just walks you. over and rubs your back. Your butters is pretty good for the character. Alright, so you got his hammer here. Uh, you gotta pick who he wants to attack. Miles just attack him. Which, I'm always stupid. I always use the power attack for the shields, as I said before. Like, I don't know why. I'm just used to hitting the square button a lot. So, the good thing is, uh, you get a look to see who's weak bad. to what, Here, take some of this and you can base your strategy potion. around that. Alright, so we're going to take a potion, take the cure, potion. You have to take sure cure potions potion before you so take, like, like, mana potions or health potions, because it will not work. Alright, so you see ones that are weak against fire, frost, whatever. Uh, oh. Like, if they're weak to it. That means that you, if you attack them with like an elemental power or whatever, they'll die quicker. Right, you gotta pick who you want to fight. You go after. All right. Like, you see, if you attack one of the guys in the back, it also attacks the other. Suck my balls. So. There you go. Oop. Then I got this here. I'm gonna have to go in the back over here. Yeah. Oh. All right, and he runs off, so he's no longer in the fight. In your right, face! Heals. Up. Oh. All right, so butter strong attacks. attack. Pretty much knock him out. Oh, there I go. Because I was stupid. I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Alright, so you got butters. And then you get the revive. Wait, the revive is a taco. 
somehow a taco revives people. I guess. Alright, so this should be the final attack here. Boom! And he runs off a bit. Alright, so now here, you get to loot your uh, enemies. Let's go ahead and loot all of them. Alright, and then we will continue on going. Sorry, you got this but little we can't snobby girl here who doesn't friends. want to be your friend until you have more friends. Uh, the reason why you want to go behind things, as you can see, is because sometimes they'll hide things there. Oh, shoot the bird. Alright, like back here, you see, there's a hidden path here. Uh, you just waddle back there, and you go to a different spot. Uh, that right here, you can do that in the later missions. And then... There's a professor of astrophysics. That's Homeless a professor people. of neurobiology. That's not that nice. a lawyer, I think. Uh, are you gonna rape us? This isn't one of the... This is one of, like, the better battles you want to learn at the beginning of the game. Just fight, like, the weaker guys as much as possible before they get too tough on you. Alright, so you want to inspect what they have, what they're weak against. Just give me whatever you got on A lot of them are weak against Frost, except for him, who's weak against Shock, apparently. So, Lightning. Oh, you want to do that. Give me some change, goddammit. Uh, speed Potion. Like, the Speed Potion will allow you to attack more than once. Which is really cool. So, say you're in a battle where you need to have the most attacks. If you get your speed up, see, you get attack again. Which then you can damage two people instead of one. So we got butters here. Uh, do I want to do it? Yep. All right. Nope. All right. Just go over here. He can just do his regular attack. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Doesn't kill him. That wasn't so bad. He got attacked by that. He drinks whiskey, and then he goes back up in power. Got him. Yeah. Like. The blocking of like the really quick attacks are the ones I hate the most. Hey, oh. huh? He should have been down on that one, but he wasn't, so we will light this one on fire. Because the fire is really nice because it's one of those continuous things, unless they uh, use a cure potion. That's not nice. Ah. Block his glass, block his stomps. Which blocking helps take care of some of the damage, but not all of it. So you're still gonna get attacked. So then we have Butters attacking. Ah. Alright, he's gone. Alright, so if you're fighting and they have like some guy that knows a lot of potions or whatever, they can revive what I do. The fallen guys, but they can't revive the ones that are gone out of the fight. Which is really nice. You see the fire stops him there. I'll damage him up a little bit. And then one more attack for me. Oh, come on. And then Butters should be able to finish him off with his light. Feel that righteous fury. And he's down. That shows him right. Yippee! I actually want to loot these guys here, uh, like you always do with the with the fallen guys you fight. You want to loot their bodies as much as humanly possible, or you want to loot as many human bodies as much as possible, and you want to try to find like the secret hidden areas. All right, so after you grab some of that stuff, yeah, that one you can do in a later mission. All right, so. You always want to look around, like I said before, see what you can find, what you can't find, this and that. All right, so now we're in a different part of South Park. We got, don't know whose house this is. I cannot remember. Uh, I think it is, let's say Jimmy's house or something. All right, so let's go in here. We got a leaf blower. I have no idea whose house this is didn't really say so you're just running around hitting things to see if you can get anywhere uh, let's see Go to, to, nah. 
I'm actually faster her, at get her friend request. Than I am at speaking. All right, show up Ooh. here and. Whoop. <gasps> <laughs> As you can see, I had to put a sensor right up away. there because YouTube has issues with nudity. Um, I don't know if cartoon nudity is different than like regular human nudity, but just to be safe so I don't get any like strikes or anything like that, I wanted to be cautious because you never know. I mean. Are you new? This is Clyde's that means you don't know anything about house. Me, huh? Why does he have a kid up in his attic? Don't, uh, don't believe everything you read on Facebook, okay? Don't, uh, don't hat. believe everything you read on Facebook, okay? Who the fuck are you? Alright, let's see. Nope, can't do anything here. Alright. Um, look through here. Alright, I got one friend, two friend, three friend, four friend, five friend. Alright. So that works for me. Alright, just look through my shit, see if I can't add anything to it. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to add anything else now. Like the cloak, I can change later in the game if I get a better outfit. Like, watch. Uh! But... <laughs> Oh, you gonna cry? You gonna cry? Huh? You little, you little baby? You gonna cry? Alright, so... Off this way here. Uh, run around a little bit. Alright, hit that. Go in here. This is... I cannot remember. I think it's Craig's... Garage. Alright, so then we're gonna go up here. Looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. You better get to the other guys first. All right, so we're gonna save the rest of that uh, quest for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please put a like down there, comment, and see what else you want to see. And I should be back to this in the next couple days. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.